Listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we got to discuss something involving Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. This is some serious news. We got a lot of things percolating with Ben Simmons, y'all. You know, uh, number one, I want to start with his trainer coming out and saying that he will rebound from this injury. Um, and his trainer goes by the name of Chris Brinkley. A lot of guys go and work out with him out in the summit out there in New York and the rooftops, you know. Um, and it, this is going to be very interesting, you know. Um, that was the words from a trainer. Now, well, let's see if everything translates. And it all correlates because right after that, Ben Simmons, you know, was clear, you know, for Nets camp. Um, after his injury rehab and the reports came out from the Nets that he will have no restrictions, you know. Uh, so I think this is very, you know, optimistic for the fans of Ben Simmons and possibly Nets fans. Who knows what Brooklyn is going to do? We'll get to that shortly, you know, because they've been through a lot. But let's see if there's hope for the 28-year-old. <laughs> You know, who went through numerous situations with injuries and off the floor, mental things, and uh, it's just been a mess. You know, uh, will he ever return back to the glory days, you know, of Philly when he was an all-star and his name was looked at as one of the upper echelons in the NBA? But it's been, it seems like it's been years, you know, since we've looked at him like that. And um, I got want to bring the chief in here yeah. to discuss on how, you know, Ben has supposedly recovered from all of this. And it seems to be r real hype surrounding his return to the Brooklyn Nets. Heck, is the only hope for crying out loud. Um, what's your thoughts on this whole Ben Simmons? Well, Flight, if, if, if Ben, if I hope it's good, man, we've been waiting. <laughs> That's all I'll say about it. A lot of talk. Oh, I'm ready. You know, but it's like it, it, it just, you know, it, it, you know, KD, they were all there when they waiting on them. They had to go. <laughs> um, if not, then, I mean, Brooklyn wouldn't got Killian Hayes. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, ben Simmons, I think this year for Brooklyn, um, you know, Mikhail is gone. He's, you know, across the bridge. Um and you got just uh, this team, Dorian Finney-Smith is still there. You know, you, you got uh, Cam Thomas. You know, this team is a Cooper flag ready. This is a team that's ready for a Cooper flag, bro. I have to be honest with you. Or or Ace Bailey or one of those guys to come down there to be with Ben Simmons because that's what he need right now, right? It's just what it is. Hey, Brooklyn, it is what it is. Um but it would be good to see him play a healthy season, regardless of how it turns out. I don't see Brooklyn making much noise this year in this East. I don't see it, you know. But if, if finally Ben Simpson come back and play uh, to his potential, the talk was he was the next LeBron James. He's a six. He's a six ten point guard. Me, in my opinion, I think that he should get off of uh, the. Uh, you know, he, he could develop the rest of his game. I think Ben would be better as a forward, to tell you the truth. And let someone else run the point and let him cook as a more of a dynamic type wing, you know, where, where there's a demand for those type of players. Anyway, Ben can get his game going there. He'll still be just as he'll, – he'll be just as good, I think even better, you know. But, you know, he he's – ever since he came into the league, he just got to have the – he got to run the point, you know. So, you know, he was a good defensive player as well. So we'll see what happens, Flight. You know, I, I hope he comes back. You know, because, you know, when he was playing for Philly, again, you see how the process is going on in Philadelphia. This is also that process, too. Ben was part of that process as well. So we need to see the completion of the process with Ben Simmons. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, I want to get to um, Brooklyn. Uh, do you think that this is um, could be some kind of hype job, possibly to trade Ben Simmons, possibly for some more assets? Because Brooklyn clearly looks like they're regressed, you know, and they're in regression mode. Uh, or <laughs> it don't make sense to have one foot in and one foot out. Um, what do you think about Ben Simmons' trade value, you know, out there in the market? He has to get it up. Pause. He has to get it up, man. It's like if they're going to move him, he has to show that uh, there's value for him. So, again, 
this is this year. That's it. The only thing I expect from Ben Simmons is to play a healthy season of high level basketball. From there, if Brooklyn want to go straight into the, which will be a good time, if the Brooklyn Nets want to just say, let's move Ben Simmons and move some other assets and go completely in for the youth movement, go completely in for Cooper Flag or the great talent that is coming out in these next two drafts, you know, where Carmelo's Anthony's son is in play, you know, Ace Bailey is in play, other great Cooper Flag is in play, other great players impact players are in play would you want to just keep ben there to or just leave move him and then and get two great have two great drafts and then build off of those players whoever they get flight i i say uh if ben is able to play really it may be good for him to go to another team you know that way he can grow his uh, the experiment in brooklyn hasn't worked out go to another team that needs a point guard a dynamic point guard and there's still some out there you know, uh, you know, like for, for like, like in Orlando or you know, even the Phoenix, you know, they could use they could use his they could use his skill in, in some of these teams that are on the cusp of being contenders or going on the upper echelon of contention. But they just need that good point guard to run run the show for their teams. And there's a few out there like that. Not many, but there are a few like. Um, yeah, I absolutely agree with you, man. Uh, it's going to be interesting with, with this guy because I thought he had promise. You know, I think I may, I think this may have been possibly one of the worst things. I, I mean, I think I like what Russell Westbrook did. A lot of people thought he was going to be probably the worst regression, but I think Ben Simmons was because he was really looked at as, you know, one of the better players, one of the better guards. How, how could he go from, you know, the play that he did out there in Philly where he nearly was possibly a triple-double machine, Bro. you know, onto a guy who can't even <laughs> make a shot and make a layup. And it looks like he can't function on the basketball floor. I, I, I don't understand what has happened. What, what's going on, Chief? Like, there was an actual debate in Philadelphia of, over whether they should move and beat and keep Ben Simmons, bro. That was a debate in Philadelphia. Considering what's going on now, that was a debate in Philadelphia. Can the two work together? And since they can't, who to move? And there was talk in Philly that because of Joel and B's, also injuries and these other things going on with the process, there was talk about building the team around Ben Simmons and moving Joel and B. That was the talk. But there's some other said, oh no, you don't move a center. You move him. You keep you, you, I don't care what you say. You keep if you have a center that plays halfway, any any type of halfway decent basketball in this, in this, um, in this league, you keep that center. And from that decision, Joel and B has now uh since that decision, Joel and B has um still went through injuries, but he's risen to an MVP. You know, he is um, now uh, the anchor of a max deal. Paul George is now in the house there. You know, Tyrese is Maxie has come up, you know, so they made the right choice by keeping Joel and B. We'll see about Ben Simmons, you know, because his drop off was tremendous. That was talk about him being the next LeBron James. Past yeah. Luca. Mm. <laughs> You're right about that. Man. It was. It was. <laughs> It's crazy. We're going to get more into the subject. We want to hope the best for Ben Simmons. Training camp is rolling around. We ain't got nothing but a week and some change. Make sure you don't touch that dial. It's Flight Sports. If you want to check out the Chief, where can they find you? Try Sports Media, baby. You heard what the man said. Do not touch that dial.